Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Detroit Piston Basketball Podcast with your boy, host, Miguel. And I'm here today with our guest, Jamal Anthony Mays. What's going on, y'all? What's- Jamal says that he is the most excited he's been since we got Reggie Jackson. Since we got rid of him. Since we got rid of him. <laughs> yeah. Since we got rid of him. But yeah, yeah, new direction, man. This was a long, yesterday was a long time coming. I didn't even care that we lost. I was just happy that, you know, we have a direction. So this is a, this is a rebuild. Whether people wanted to believe this or not, this is a rebuild. You know, people want to, oh, this is a retool. Listen, I don't believe nothing this front office says. You know, you go by their actions, and they 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 have tore this this whole thing down. So, so so the fact that they torn everything down, you feel like they're starting to uh, really live up to the word. This is a rebuild. Uh, if trust me, if they could get rid of uh, if they get rid of Blake's contract today, it would be gone. So, yeah, this is a rebuild. What'd you think of Blake yesterday? Um. I thought that he had a hard, well, no fault of his, but I thought he had a hard time, you know, fitting in with the young guys. Uh, one one thing's for sure, uh, they're going to have to, he's going to have to play off the ball. I know because the of the lack of point guard play we've had for the past couple of years, that he's been, you know, handling the ball a lot, but. If if this is uh, if this is gonna work, if Killian Hayes is gonna be the point guard of the future, he has he has to take a backseat. He has to be he has to play off the ball. I I believe he can play off the ball. I don't think that's been a problem for him. I think it was a necessity for him to play on the ball because we lacked a lot of point guards these last few years. Oh, oh I don't I don't disagree, but. How is he? How is he going to play without the ball? Without play, without playing above the rim, that's that's going to be the key. Can can he play? Can he uh, can he get his own shot? Can he play within the offense without having the basketball? What you think about him in the fourth? I mean, not in the fourth, in the first quarter when he got a lot of his burn. He got a lot of his burn in that first quarter. What do you think? Um, I just thought that. Like like I said, it just looked like they were not in sync. He was not in sync with the young guys. Okay. That's what I think. All but, right. But it's so, going to take time. It, it, it's preseason game number one. Everybody's freaking out. I just don't understand why. It, yeah. it At this point, this is a rebuild, as I stated. So wins and losses really shouldn't matter as long as the team – it, you know, as long as the team is improving gradually, because let's be honest, they're going to probably finish in the top five of the lottery. So, you know, I'm I'm looking, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at looking at getting Cunningham next year. That's what I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to. Now, uh, I didn't get to watch the game live. I got to watch pieces of it last night. I was stuck at work, and I'm st- I'm watching the replay now. Now. If, if if I was going off by the reaction of all the fans yesterday, you would have thought the sky was falling. I thought. <laughs> Man, I, yeah. Honestly, I don't think. I mean, it's the score is bad, but you know what? I'm not even disappointed with any of the young guys. I'm more disappointed with players like Wayne Ellington. I mean. I mean, what is it? I, to be honest with you, what? Why are you disappointed with him? This team is going nowhere. I, Turning I mean, the ball over, bad possessions, hey, terrible shot selection. I, I get it, but this team isn't going anywhere. I, listen, I want as many ping pong balls as possible. <laughs> and that, that's, that's how I'm looking at it. I want as many ping pong balls as possible. I want the best draft <laughs> position next year. I, I Listen, Miles Pumley was awful l- last night, too. I don't okay, care. Yeah. I, I, I don't care. The, the only the only, now <laughs> the only the only way I would I would I would have been disappointed last night if I really thought that Killian Hayes was just that bad and I didn't see that from him. So 
he he dribbled the ball out of bow bounds one time. What I do like from uh, Killian is he's pretty active defensively. He was getting into a lot of passing lanes. Oh, he tried quarter. He, uh, he he definitely does that. The one thing I like about him is he's trying to get others involved. You know, he dribbles with his head up and he tries to get. He's looking to pass. He's not looking to to, to score. So it's been a while since we've had a point guard like that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else impress you last night outside of Killian Hayes? Oh, uh, Sadiq Bay. Oh my goodness, that guy. Um, that guy. I think he's going to be the small forward of the future. Uh, and I like uh, I like Isaiah Stewart. He grabbed four rebounds in like seven minutes, while like Plumlee only had like four in like fifteen or twenty. So I mean, I think he's easily the best defensive big man we have so it's so going to be a matter, it's not a matter of if but when is he going to start because Plumley blows, Plumley blows um let me Plumley had uh four points three rebounds in 21 minutes last night and he Isaiah was Stewart, Isaiah Stewart had basically his same stat line of two points and four rebounds in seven, in minutes. seven minutes absolutely seven minutes Ryan says Zaza. I'd rather have Zaza. Zaza would have been cheaper. I, I, I would take Zaza on this team right now over Bumley. He, that guy is awful, dude. He is absolutely <laughs> awful. Now you get Zaza for a fraction of the price. <laughs> yeah, you, you sure can. He has seven. Yeah, Barack, he has seven turnovers. But you know what? Uh, 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 what's the guy name for Atlanta? The, the point guard for Atlanta, he has six last night. Nobody's killing him. Come on, Trae man. Young. Yeah, Trey Young had six turnovers last night. It was the first game in since since what March of uh this year. Yeah, so you, you, I, know, what's I, breaking, you know what's breaking me heart breaking my heart about this game? What's that? Reggie Bullock. He should be a piston. Why? What? I mean, why do? You, why do you want to relive the past, dude? Let I'm not trying go. to relive. The, I'm not trying to relive the past. He's not that. He's not that expensive. I mean, dude, he's he's a good player. I like he's Reggie. Good, I, I mean, but what what does he do, what does he do for this team? I mean, you want to you want to he, he was a good three D guy. He was he a good three D guy. I wouldn't say D because he couldn't guard a chair. Oh but, man, dude, dude, he was a decent three D guy. He was he was a he was a damn he was a damn good three point shooter as far as defense. Oh, I, t I tell you who 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 disappointed last night, uh, and, and and I'm I don't give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Grant really laid an egg last night. He he was he couldn't find a shot in the china cabinet. He was so bad. What'd you think about his effort on defense? I thought he was oh, pretty active on defense. That's that's why I'm willing. To, that's why I'm live really lip really 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 uh willing to give him a shot so I, I didn't have a problem with with the defense his defense was pretty good last night offensively he wasn't he a lot wasn't of forced shots by him he forced he a lot of shots he forced a lot of shots he had a, he had, a, he had a, a lot of open looks as well he, he missed a lot of open looks as well so like i said game one everybody freaking out nothing to freak out about y'all i don't this, I don't think it's nothing to freak out either. Like I said, like I said, if I was judging by off of everybody's comments last night, you'd have thought the sky was falling. I don't think the sky is falling. I just think we're playing a lot of young guys. Well, and that's what a rebuild is. Yep. Here's the thing. A lot of people did not want this. A lot of people did not <laughs> want the rebuild. A lot of people were, were, were happy with just being the AC, getting blown away by Milwaukee. Nah. It's 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 it was, time for change. It, it was cool back in 2014. Not so cool six years no, later. It, it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't cool then. It was. Just, I mean, but I, you, I'd like that team of of um, Brandon Jennings, not Brandon Jennings, Reggie Jackson, KCP, Tobias Harris. I like that team. It was a solid team. It it was it, it wasn't bad. They. They just had a lot of pieces that that they that were missing. They need they needed a go to score. That team needed that, and they didn't have that. And unfortunately, they traded for Blake, which 
was a an absolute disaster. It really put the the cap space just it they couldn't put pieces around Blake he, to get better. He, that was the problem. Can you believe that was four or five years ago? That's crazy. Yeah. And just think, um, next year they'll be able to trade him because he'll be an expire. And teams mm -hmm. will want. Hopefully we get something nice for him. At this point, I don't care what we get for him. <laughs> I just want him gone. Listen, he he at this point, another thing that I noticed last night too is he can't run with these guys, Ooh. man. His mm -hmm. knees are shot. He's shot. And and hopefully Derrick Rose is dealt at the deadline too. I I, I mean, I don't want any any semblance of of any of these guys on this roster. I want them all you know, gone. You know, Every you, last one of them, I want them all out of here. You don't want a hint of SVG on this no, roster anymore. I, I want we they they showed the graphic yesterday. We had the the third or fourth youngest team in the league. That that would that would even change. That would that number would go down even lower if they were off the roster. Noel, Noel is like swatting things in the paint, man. But yeah, I, yeah, don't you know? I guess too. You know, I, I hate the Knicks. I I hate the Knicks. <laughs> oh God, I I hate the Knicks. I that I wanted them to win this game because I just, as an organization, I hate the Knicks. They are. We get a rematch Sunday. Well, you know, whatever they we we, long as the rookies look good. And we win. I want to beat the Knicks every chance. I don't care. What, what is your hatred for the Knicks? Why Why do you hate the Knicks so much? Because they are garbage. Or they're, they're as far as organizations, <laughs> them and the Lions are neck and neck. And <laughs> I did not like the way they treated Charles Oakley. I, okay. I, lo I, I love as I don't know if you remember what I love watching Charles Oakley play. Did they arrest <laughs> them? Didn't they arrest them and take them yes, out? The, they arrested them. The, and kicked, they arrested them and they kicked. They arrested him and they uh they kicked him out out of yeah. Madison School of Guard. But, imagine if they did that to Rick Mahorn. That would be crazy. You what? What was, imagine if that would happen to like someone like Rick Mahorn. Well, uh, could you imagine like Bill Davidson if he was alive doing that to like like you said Rick Mahorn? Rick that, Mahorn. That, is, that is that's crazy, dude. It's crazy. And, uh, it's Oakley, you know, I love Oakley because he could have been a piston. He took he. He, you know, he had the mind. He, he was basically a bad boy. Yeah, he 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 would have been one, but and that's why I like him. And and not only not just not just uh not just how he treated Oakley, but just everybody that goes to New York just turns to trash, dude. It's like like playing for the Lions. Like I mean, just just garbage. I told I and I was telling some Lions fans that that. You guys hype up all these players, right, that play for the Lions. But, I mean, once they put on that Lions uniform, they, they get downgraded a notch or two. <laughs> They're not the same oh, player they were on the previous team or whatever college they came from. Something about the Lions organization it just doesn't mold good players. It's the same thing with the Knicks. I, I just think that the, the but far I know this between the and I'm getting I'm we're getting a little off topic. Yeah, but we're getting I'm, a little off topic. Off, <laughs> but but I'm just gonna say this: the difference with with them, the Lions organization, the owners, they don't even talk to the owners. They don't. They never have. They've never. And the the fours have always been out of touch with their players. And the on, the only players that they really kept in touch with was like Barry Sanders. And hell, I don't even think they talk to Calvin Johnson very much. But um, yeah, they don't talk to their players, man. So that's why they're a crappy organization. But enough about that. Done but, talking um, about that. I Bay, enjoy. Bay I two enjoy, eight from the three. I enjoy every second of that game last night. I enjoy even even, really, even okay. last night. I enjoyed it all, man. It's I good. It. It's that's a good thing to hear, man. Especially from. I mean, it felt like it felt like Pistons fans were about to riot yesterday. <laughs> hey, do if if Dennis is listening, man, I I, I know he's somewhere <laughs> crying like somebody stole his bike. Dennis Cause, Thompson is that you're yeah, about? cause cause, cause ball didn't play. I know he was really big <laughs> on 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 the balls. I, I, listen, I, I got I, I like I 
I mean, there's is, is, that, is, that, is that who's making all the ball posts? Because I'm like, man, yes. there's some huge yes. ball fans in this group. <laughs> I, 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 he is. He really is. He's a ball fan. I mean, I, I get the the love affair. He, you know, he wants them to succeed. I totally get it, but not here. Not here. It yes. won't be here. <laughs> all right. Uh, have you have you read some of these comments yet? I'm scrolling through them. They're funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said Troy Reaver trades Jamal, man. Dude, Troy Reaver might trade me, man. Hey, well, hey, <laughs> as long as they get something in return, I don't care. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Tim says we have a perfect mix of uh, to move forward a couple vets and young players what do you think about that we got two vets your vets are are rose and and blake those are your vets and they well we got a few few other vets they're just not instant vets i mean they're 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 a little they're a little younger but as far as as far as uh i listen like i told you i want blake gone today i don't care what we get for him i want him out of here today Just not you just didn't like anything you seen from Blake yesterday. Well, it's, it's not that I don't like him. It's just time to move on. Um, I mean, his, his his run in Detroit is over. We're not going. We're not going anywhere with him. It's time to get something for him, or take take trade him to a contender and get uh and 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 get a late first round well, or something. I'll take a second round, dude. It, the, if they the best had that, time if to they trade the amnesty clause. I would be happy with that. Dude, they just wave his ass out right. I would be happy with that. The NBC clause is still, the amnesty clause is still around. It's just a provision. Well, hell, they need they, they need to use it. <laughs> Jesus. I would just wave them. I, I, I think the best time to trade Blake, here, here's where, this is my thought process, and this is the same thought process I had for Reggie Jackson for the last two and a half, three years, is that you get you got Blake Griffin on the roster, correct? Just like we had Reggie Jackson on the roster. Both Blake Griffin and Reggie Jackson have suffered injuries that have taken them out until the next season. You have the whole offseason to get them healthy. So they start the next season healthy, and you play them. And you play them strategically to the point where you're not – burying them into the into the pavement with usage you play him sparingly kind of like what we're doing with Derrick Rose he's getting 20 minutes a game he plays in important segments of the game so if the game is close in the fourth quarter Derrick Rose is going to get a lot of burn but if the game is like so so in the second quarter or in the third quarter Derrick Rose is sitting on the bench for the most part so that's how you that's how you're playing Blake that's what you need to do with Blake. You need to play him sparingly. Make sure you're not burying him into the ground with playing time. And then come trade deadline, you have you have a healthy looking Blake with a decent stat line. Maybe you have a couple highlights of him hitting game winners because all you're doing is playing him in the fourth. And boom, you might have a good trade there for him at the trade deadline. Here's the here's the problem with that. I mean, oh, that sounds cute. But here's the problem with that. <laughs> with the way the did, did you see our schedule and how many back to backs? Both him and Rose are not going to be able to play the second half of back to backs, man. I mean, oh. it's 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 going to be it's going to be rough, man. I, oh, I, I'm, but I mean, I'm, like I'm that, telling, huh? But no, no. I mean, yeah, of course not. I mean, but that doesn't mean that you can't. Uh, uh, so what are you saying? Because it's going to be rough, they're going to be forced to play him in situations they don't want to play him at? The Pistons well, are, don't so want to play him at? Is that I just think that you can only play Derrick Rose no more than 25 minutes a night. And you yeah. and you, and you dare can't play him in back, on back-to-backs. Can't play him on back-to-backs. And you can't play, you can't play Blake on uh, heavy minutes on back-to-backs either. So, and then the... the and and this is why I laugh with people talking about this team is going to challenge for the 10th seed. They don't have a go-to guy. They don't have a go-to guy. They 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 don't have a guy that 
can get them buckets at will outside of Blake. They just don't. And the the for uh, Jason Wynn, the trade deadline is uh, March twenty fifth. Okay. So it's it's almost on par with the with the real trade deadline of a regular NBA season. The, the regular NBA seasons like you, you, March. usually, yeah. It, it, it normally the, the the trade deadline is normally oh. end of February. I I thought it was, but hey. It's not too far away, man. I, I think that the NBA is going to really get the schedule back to normal. They're trying to. They're trying to. The reason and the reason why we got so many back to backs is because they're trying to condense that season. Condense so oh, oh, going no. into the 20, 21, 22 season, we got a regular. We got a regular looking season that doesn't start in December. That's fine. That is perfectly fine by me. I want, like I said, I want as many ping pong balls. As possible for uh for Cunningham. I w- I want the number one pick this year. That's what I want. I want the number one pick. I want you the want number Cunningham, one. You want Cunningham? You don't want the uh the guy that's going to Michigan State? Uh nope. Give me Cunningham. We need a shooting <laughs> guy. Get, that's who I want. I want I want Cunningham. And yep. What's the what's the what's the scouting report on Cunningham right now? Um, hella athleticism. Uh, he there isn't really he don't really have a, a a weakness to his game truthfully that's why that's why uh he's projected to go very high i'm watching this i'm watching the game over again yeah me too i'm i'm up here looking at it and they said that um they said that killian was I think the last point guard we draft was he? No, no, he wasn't. Uh, Brandon Knight was the last point guard we drafted in the first round. In the first round? Yep. Yeah, the last point guard we drafted was Brandon Knight. Okay. And I think had we had better coaching, he might have worked out. The last, the last point guard that we drafted that actually became something was uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about here, man. Don't 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 hurt my feelings, man. We we gave him away, <laughs> and now he's over in in Brooklyn, showing out with Bruce Brown. Yeah, man. That that's, <laughs> that, that that's your boy Van Gundy, man. He he uh he had a vision. I don't I don't know what the hell it was, but he had a vision. Uh, he was he was old and senile because that crap didn't work can you can you believe that we had uh spencer dinwiddie reggie jackson brandon knight all all on the same roster yeah i can believe it um (laughs) that just that just goes to show that these guys don't know how to develop they don't know how to develop talent man i was that's really that's really the issue um i know a lot of people were (laughs) upset that uh, and, and who that? The old boy, uh, Cold Cut. He he was he was so he's so big on Ob Toppin, and I mean I liked him too, but I felt like we needed the point guard even even more. Um, but it none of that matters, man. If you can't develop players, it don't matter who you draft. You know, it's it's, it's gonna be all bad. I was arguing with a guy who was. I was telling him that we made a lot of misstep. I mean, getting Reggie Jackson on the roster was fine. All right, okay. We get Reggie Jackson on the roster. But there was a lot of missteps after we got Reggie Jackson on the roster that really hurt us down the road. And one of them was that five-year contract that he signed. I mean, you look at all the free agents that were uh, signed this year. Now, none of them went for five years. I don't think all of them were like two to three years. It just the, shows you how the, much that we biggest, overreached on Reggie Jackson. The biggest mishap after signing him was trading for Blake Griffin. That was that was the nail in the coffin for this franchise. They were doomed for mediocrity when they traded for him. They were doomed. You weren't going to win anything. You weren't going to put in. You didn't have enough money to put pieces around him well, without destroying your future. I mean, it. it, it they might have been able to do it. They would have to give up like three or four first-round picks to add high-salary guys to play with him. 
it wasn't worth it. it yeah. Having him on his roster was not worth. That was um, uh, that was Tom Gore. I think that was Tom Gore's idea. It, it could have been. I, I would say this. I would say this. Uh, you're saying that uh, the biggest mistake was for trading for Blake Griffin that put us into mediocrity permanently. But I would say that once, once Reggie Jackson, once we got stuck with the five-year contract for Reggie Jackson, but once he got hurt and he kept on getting hurt and he stayed hurt, I think that doomed us to mediocrity. I mean, at that point, you could trade for whoever you want to, uh, Blake Griffin, whoever, and you were we're still stuck in the water without the without the Blake Griffin trade or with it. Because if you, Reggie Jackson was such a key part of that of that offense and he, he went down and then we were forced to use guys like uh Ish Smith full time and we had to use uh Jameer Nelson and we had to use Dwight Bikes and it just the offense was just never the same. Here's the thing with his contract. Once he signed it, it wasn't so bad because he wasn't making nearly the money that Blake was making. So, I mean, the issue, the, the, nobody talks about this. Yes, he stayed hurt a lot. But the thing about it is Reggie Jackson never got better. You know, he had the one good year. And even that year, I didn't think was all of that. Because yeah, the numbers look good, but to me, it, he he was just so up and down and so inconsistent. So, you know, and maybe maybe it's maybe it's the fact that we've been uh, we've been spoiled around here as far as point <laughs> guards because we've had I've watched arguably the best point guard to ever lace them up in, in Isaiah, and then you followed that up with uh, a Finals MVP point guard with Chauncey Billups. So, I mean, oh, those are some hard shoes to fill, man. It's some hard shoes to fill, but the the Pistons, uh, even going back to their days in Fort Wayne, have had a long history of of uh, legacy point guards, point guards with, with real elite talent, at least for their time. So, I mean, like, you, you, like it, it just feels like – it feels like our team our, – our franchise is not complete without a good point guard. I'm just building well, on what you're saying. Well, they have, now the, the league is guard-driven. So now and – I, and, I, and I was – and even when we were doing the playoff push, you know, a lot of people were mad at me because I'm like, I, I, this needs to be blown up. I'm, I'm not feeling this. And people, ah, oh, man, how can you say that, man? We 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 got a shot at the playoffs. I'm like, playoffs to do what? To get choked out in the first round? I mean, yeah, if we make it, we will lose to the Bucks. I don't want to see this. I'm um, and and it's gonna be the same thing year after year. So just blow it up and get rid of it and start over. Move Blake. Uh, I'm glad they. I'm glad he moved Drummond. I'm glad that's going. And truthfully, they should, instead of having the playoff push, both of them should have been traded. And it wouldn't have been a playoff push. They should have started the rebuild then. Drummond, Drummond, here, here's where I, I partially disagree with you about your Blake Griffin sentiment, and I partially agree with you. But here's where I, I agree with you about the Blake Griffin sentiment. Was that once Blake Griffin came onto this team, he made both uh, Andre Drummond and Reggie Jackson look like role players. Everything was surrounded. Everything, everything revolved around Blake Griffin the minute that he got here. And the problem with that, you'd be like, okay, well, whatever, Blake or whatever, Andre Drummond and Reggie Jackson take a step back in the roles. The problem is, is they weren't pl they weren't paid to play in a role that was behind another player. They were supposed to be our players, the guys that this franchise leaned to get wins on, and now they're not. And now we're only paying for role players is basically what I'm saying. I agree with that. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, and Drummond is another guy that his game never developed. He never developed an offensive game. He never developed a go-to move offensively. 
he pretty much played when he wanted to play. I mean, that act got old. Um, but yeah, Drummond, when, Drummond's one of the bigger disappointments that I can remember in uh, Piston history, to be quite honest with you. I, oh man, he, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say disappointment. Um, Simply because he did, he did, uh, he did, he did do his part. Uh, he did, he did grab rebounds. He did put up he numbers. Two, he made two All Star games his entire time here. He made two All Star games, and he made, he made two All Star games, and they're and, both in reserves. And he was All NBA third team as well. All NBA third team. Yep. So one time, I I just think that, I, to be honest with you, I just think that. The co the coaching, you know, in the beginning was kind of shoddy. Um, Van, like I said, Van Gundy had a I don't know what Van Gundy's vision vision was for this team, but I, I guess I guess it could have been okay if he was just the coach and not the coaching and the GM. I think that was yeah. a mistake. What do you what do you think is what do you think he's gonna be like in New Orleans? I think, think he's going to have guy. a better chance to succeed now that yeah. he's taking back just, a role. Just for, just for a couple of years, he's a, he's going to be a stopgap coach. Uh, and and I'm not. I trust me. I do not like Van Gundy, but I think that's perfect for him. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. The minute he throws one of those players under the bus, his ass is out of there. <laughs> <laughs> he is out of there. That's that's a perfect. I think that's a perfect fit for him. I do. I honestly do. You think he's going to develop Zion and the ball and those guys, everybody those, else those, over there? Those, those guys are, are are already talented, man. They just need seasoning and experience. And I just think that uh, after a couple years, them guys going to burn his ass out and he's going to quit. That's what's going to happen. They gonna, either he's going to quit or they're going to fire him. He ain't going to be there long. Brian's calling him Stan Van Gogh. <laughs> what do you think about that? Stan Van Gogh? <laughs> well, I mean, he, he, well, I guess... Uh, <laughs> Man, Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about, Jason? Who would have been good at $12 million a year? Are you talking about Andre Drummond? I would um, be for him to have him at $12 million a year, to be quite honest with you. I think that's... Dude, he just, you know, and the other part to, about Andre Drummond is not so much that he was lacking heart, especially towards that, lacking heart and hustle, especially towards the end of his, his tenure here. But it, it was also how much he was getting paid, man. Oh, yeah. When, when you, he was getting you paid about $26 million a year. Yeah, when you make money, man, that, that people expect the world of you when you're making money. And, and, and it's funny because people, when, when KCP was here, and he wanted twenty million, and people. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not giving him twenty million. And and that was the right move. The right move yeah. was to, was not to pay him twenty million dollars. Could you imagine if we yeah. paid him twenty million dollars? Yeah. Oh God, and he was the way he was. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm I'm completely on board with you, man. And there was and there was fans that were really dedicated to paying that much. They're like, we got to pay him that much. He's KCP. I'm like, actually, th that's the reason why we don't got to pay him that much, because he's KCP. <laughs> he's no, not, he's Ryan, not go, to hell. go to hell, Ryan. Hey, but but what do I think? I I, I don't know if you caught the whole, I, I, and I'm going to reset this for you. I enjoyed everything about, about last night. A new direction, new everything. My bright spots were, um, were Bay. And even and and a lot of people were down on him, but Killian Hayes to me was a bright spot simply because he he brought something to the point guard position we haven't seen in a while. You know, he was looking to get others involved, and quite frankly, we haven't had that around here in a while. Yeah, he turned the ball over seven times. Yeah, he shot two for seven, but but hey, it's it's the first game. I'm happy. I I, I enjoyed everything about. Uh, last night, and I'll be even happier when they trade Blake Griffin. They just showed a stat saying that Blake Griffin is uh, only only player or top three player in the NBA right now, averaging 
What was that? Was that twenty uh, one points? Yeah, keep six keep rebounds and four assists. Hype, hype, that's the hype train to get him out of here. <laughs> that's the hype train to get him out of here, man. I, is that the, dude, I, I really be. Listen, is, that little, like, is that a little lion's home <laughs> cooking right there? Listen, as as long as as long as we don't give up any draft picks to get rid of them, I I I'll take whatever in return, dude. I don't care. I just want to. Oh, it's career averages. That's what they were showing. Career oh. averages. He he's he's uh he's one of five players third third place on this list with twenty plus points per game, eight plus rebounds per game, and four plus assists per game. He's up there with a bunch of young guys. Yeah, and Giannis. He, he's thirty-two years old on his way out of the league. I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna say on his way out of the league. That's 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 cruel. That's cruel. I I, I do think he has he has some game left. Just not in Detroit, man. Just not in Detroit. I wish him well. He can go 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 play for a contender. Go go to Golden State, man. They could use him off the bench. How about this from uh, Andrew Hopkins? He says, Hayes was nervous and tried hard. He will be fine when he relaxes and lets the game come to him. I agree. That 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 is just it, man. That is just it. It's gonna this is gonna take time. And what this is what people don't understand. This well, is what, what, do you think, what do you think? What do you think Killian's uh, ceiling is? Uh, to be honest, I don't, I honestly don't know. I I I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what his ceiling could be. I know he could be very good. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say borderline all star. Just to be fair. I don't really think we got a stud on our team, man. I think I think Sadiq Bay is gonna be a stud. I do. I'm kind of in the same boat with you on Sadiq Bay, like you are with Killian. That I just don't know. It's one preseason game. I, I think I think Sadiq is gonna be the stud. Uh, he can shoot it. Um, I would like to see him drive a little bit more. Um, and he plays defense. Those those are the that's that's the one thing. Those are the two things I like about him. He can shoot it. He can play defense. I would like to see him take it to the basket a little bit more. Um, I think that'll come in time. But he's going to be, and wouldn't surprise me if he started at the three uh, within 10 Ryan, games of the season. Ryan, Ryan, said, Ryan said, imagine uh, Tobias, Marcus Morris, and Andre Drummond together today with another point guard. They did try another point guard. It was this Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was another, yeah, they did have another, another point guard. Another point guard. Um, <laughs> yeah, any anything short of Chris Paul, um, it it it'd be the same result. You know, um, just uh, Reggie Jackson had that was a year he he got off, and to me. I didn't think it was all that. I really didn't. And and, and people kind of clowned me for saying, you know, how, why you hate it? He just, he just didn't do it for me, even when he was good. But again, I guess, I guess that's me having high standards for watching, uh, watching Isaiah all these years and watching Chauncey, you know, do his thing. So look at, oh man, Siku with a decent defensive possession there. On Julius Randle. And, and, and he's a wild card, too. Um, I'm, I, 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 he's, not, he's young. He's still young. That's a, he need, that's I, a I, first quarter. I, I'm going to let you finish. That, that, that possession there is the first quarter with five minutes remaining in the quarter. Uh, Siku with a decent defensive possession on what, Julius Randle. What are you? I'm on a commercial break. I don't know what you're watching. <laughs> oh, I have it on DVR. I saved it on DVR. Oh, okay. You, you have it on DVR. I'm actually watching the live version of the replay. Oh, That's oh, the re the oh, replay on, live version. Yes, they, they, it's on. It's on Fox Sports. Gotcha. I'm actually watching it. Watching the live version on uh on Fox Sports. They're playing it. For if, and if you're listening, if you want to watch the game live, well, not live, but 
the replay of the game. They're replaying it on Fox Sports Detroit for y'all. So now, what quarter are they in right now? They are in. Ooh, I want to say the second quarter. Don't give me the line. <laughs> okay, that's not. I might just jump over to that one so I can watch it with you. So I'm just I'm I'm just watching it. That was a that was a that was a pretty good defense by Siku. R Randall and got him on a nice little pump fake. I, I, I think he's going to bring that. Um, I think he's going to bring that for a young guy. Actually, they're in the fourth. This is the beginning of the fourth. Uh, the Knicks are up uh, by thirteen. Yeah, Siku with the I mean not Siku, Steve man. That was a. Another another great defense possession by the Pistons there. Steve with a nice he he dove for that ball and then he then got the ball back on the other end. And then, I, uh, I actually with uh Mikhailu, uh I, I I like him. I actually like him off the bench. Um mm -hmm. he's a decent bench player. I, I, I don't – as of right now, and I'm not saying that he can't be, but as of right now, I don't I don't see him as a starter. Mm -mm. Uh, he, can, no. he, can shoot, he, he can shoot the basketball. One of the better shooters in this league. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't play good defense. And outside of shooting, he doesn't put the ball on the floor enough. Speaking of starters, what do you think about Dylan Wright starting? He started both the first half and the second half. Uh, he he's a career backup to me. Um, he should be he should be coming off the bench as well. He should be truthfully he started both he, halves. He's not to me. It's not, I, I, he doesn't impress me. Yeah, I, I was a little disappointed in Josh Jackson too, Ryan. Um, but his calling card is defense. I want you to understand that. Uh, his calling card is his calling card is defense because pay attention to uh pay attention to that fourth quarter. I don't know how far you're in the fourth quarter. If you just started, pay attention. Uh, Josh Jackson's got a nice, decent take to the rim. Yeah, I, I saw I saw a couple of those. I did see a couple of those from, from Josh uh, Jackson. It was but, nice, but he, right off the glass in traffic. But, he, but he, had, he had five fouls in 14 <laughs> minutes, man. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, listen. That's something I would expect from uh, I would expect that from Isaiah Stewart because he's a big fella. I would expect that from him. I wasn't expecting he was that. Pretty, he was pretty Jackson. good for a big guy. Isaiah well, Stewart, about Jackson. I mean, uh, Stewart. Stewart. Yep. Oh, love, love him. He can rebound, and he's already he's already our best defensive big man. So, like I said, it's going to be a matter <laughs> of time. No, I'm, I'm serious. But it's very little time before he gets on the floor and play. It's it's not a matter of if but when. Uh, he needs to develop a shot. He if he gets if he gets a 15, 20 foot jump shot, yeah, he uh he'll be he'll he'll be in the rotation. I think he's gonna hey, be in the rotation regardless. Speaking of big men, you know who's seen a lot of big men minutes? Okafor. Okafor. Oh man, he's the he's the opposite version of Drummond. Listen, he's listen. Seen twenty. He's seen twenty minutes last night. I was surprised. Listen, I'm surprised he got listen, a lot of room. Listen, he's like Drummond, except he's he's better offensively. He has a very very low motor. Um, he's bounced around because of of I, I, the talent is there. It's just a matter of when he wants to play. Mm. You know. Um, I I I mean I'm he's not making a ton of money so I, I really don't care. Uh he can come off the bench. He could he could do whatever. He fills a roster spot so hey it is what it what, is. What do you think about him what do you think about him Josh Jackson? I mean these are guys that have failed in other places that are coming here to get another shot. Um, I mean I'm okay with it. Listen listen. I'm I am okay with I'm okay with it. I mean it's low risk high reward. I mean, we're not going anywhere. I mean, and they're not getting the, the the contracts that they're signed for are not long term contracts. So, I'm I'm not upset. And even even I I hate Miles. I ain't gonna say I hate Miles Plumley, but hates him Plumley. What what whatever his name is, he's, <laughs> he's garbage. Uh, but he's only here for three years, and you know his contract is 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 tradable. 
to a team that needs a backup center because that's really what he is. He's a backup center. He he has no business starting this league, dude. He started yeah. yesterday as well. Okay, well, okay. Let's talk about the starting lineup. You got Jeremy Grant, Killian Hayes, Mason Plumley, Dylan Wright, Blake Griffin. Um, you you play them accordingly. Um, I I don't think Blake is gonna play many back to back games or a lot of minutes in back to back games. Um, I think. I think before too long, uh, Bay is going to you, – Bay is go, you're going to need to play Bay at least – Over Dylan Wright? It's a nice you, – you're going to have to. You're not going to keep him coming off the bench. I think he is going to uh, – he's he's going to show out. So. Over who? Over who? Dylan Wright? Probably. <sighs> Bay over Dylan Wright? Yeah. See, and, and see, and, this is, and listen, this is not a popular opinion. I'm going to piss a lot of people off. I don't care. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm moving Grant to the four, mm, and I'm playing. Going. <laughs> yep, and put Blake's ass on the bench. That's how we're doing that. Man, that's uh, that's, that's a tough how we're pill. doing that. that. That's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people. I'll tell you that right now. I, I mean, listen, man. Like I said, this is the rebuild. Uh, we're not winning many games, so. This is this, for me. This is fun to watch. I'm like a kid in the candy store. I can actually enjoy watching the Pistons for the first time in a few years because I, I they were not enjoyable for me to watch. Man, thir thirty six million, thirty seven, pretty much thirty seven million to ride the bench. Oh, you talking about this year for you talking about for Blake? For Blake, thirty seven. Oh million. yeah. I mean, you you could try to find a contender to take them. It won't be this year. I, listen, if if Weaver pulls off the unthinkable, if Weaver trades him for nothing, if that would be he will win. He will have GM of the year for me, executive of the year for me. If he pulls that off, if he pulls off, that that would be a, like pulling off a heist, dude. If he found a taker for Blake Griffin, right now, because I don't I don't think. Um, I don't think uh, too many teams are going to trade for him because of that contract this year. Next year will be the year that they could, uh, because he it will be an expiring. But yeah, if he if he found if if we were found a team to take to take that contract without giving up uh, without giving up um, a draft pick, yeah, he win executive of the year of the year easily. So, Jack. Josh Jackson, uh, just he just bricked a three, but he got his own shot back, and he uh, he tried to take it to the rack aggressively. He didn't even hesitate; he just took it right to the rack. I think the ref, I think the ref kind of, the ref gave him a charge, but I, that was kind of if he charged. Oh, you were way, oh, you were way behind me. I remember. Oh, dude, I'm in the first quarter, man. I started over again. Oh Jesus, man! You, I'm back in the first hey, quarter. Mike, you got too much time on your hands. <laughs> dude, I got a I got a free Saturday, man. Dude, I've been I've been working all week, man. I haven't got to I ain't got to sit down and do anything. So I'm enjoying my time, doing my day off. L listen, I, I'm it's never a day off for me. I'm here working, uh, painting and get trying to get this bathroom and stuff together, man. I'm redoing redoing my house, man. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. So it's 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 never a day off for me, but. Yeah, I, 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 as far as going back to watching it again, I, I don't think I could do that. But I may, watch it, all, I may I, watch it a third time, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, I, I went, dude, I was so bored over the off season. I rewatched the whole season, last season. I rewatched the whole Couldn't do that. Couldn't do that's and that's there torture. To, there was nothing else to watch over the summer. Everything was locked down. Man, look, I'd have found something <laughs> else to do, but I couldn't watch <laughs> that. Uh, that was that is awful basketball, dude. I I couldn't do it. I got to, that's too. <laughs> I got to see the I got to see the emergence of Christian Wood 
<laughs> Daryl's in another oh, team. <laughs> oh God! And and that's another one, man. I I I'm glad they didn't pay him. I'm glad they didn't pay him that. But I wish him well in Houston. You rather have a you rather have a went to Jeremy Grant? You said what? You rather have a went to Jeremy Grant? His contract? Um, I like I. Basically, I prefer Jeremy Grant because he he guard more positions. He's better defensive player. Okay. Better defensive player than Wood is. Um, he, he is a and, better defensive player. I and, assume that. And that's something. And, and then and then the thing, the one thing now, and no one talks about this. The one thing that uh, Weaver did. These guys they can play multiple positions. Like Grant can uh, play some three and some four. Uh, Bay can play the three and the four. Uh, Josh Jackson can play the two, the three, and and he can guard some four. There's versatility on this roster that was lacking from last year. They didn't, we didn't have this versatility last year. So I, I would credit uh, Troy Weaver in improving the roster in that fashion. Now, I'm up, I'm, up here, I'm up here watching Wayne Ellington brick up brick threes. Why is Dude, he here? Wayne took some terrible shots <laughs> last night. <laughs> Dude, I oh, think that is a veteran. <laughs> but hey, what, I, as the longer he's here, the more ping pong balls we got. <laughs> I don't care. That's that's listen. That's all I care about. Give me ping pong balls. I want ping pong balls, and I want my team to improve. So. We just we just lost to the worst team in the league. I think the Knicks are the worst team in the league, by the way. Well, how many how many wins do you think this team is gonna get? Are are, are you serious? Yeah. If they I'm win serious. if they win if if the Pistons win thirty seventy two seventy two games. If the Pistons win thirty, it will be a successful season. However, I don't think they're gonna come close. I, think it's I don't. Be 20. Yep, between twenty and twenty-five, that's where I have them, and they're going to be one of. I, I I got them third from the bottom. Uh, the only two teams below them are the Cavs and the Knicks. Okay. But yep, I, you that's, know what, Julius Randle? You think they'll be? You, you think the Knicks the will Knicks. be that low? L L listen to me, dude. And no, Noel looked decent defensively too, <laughs> and Topham looked pretty good defensively and uh, offensively. Uh, they, the Knicks, and I, and I keep going back to this with the Knicks. The Knicks have the Lions effect. Do they have the Lions effect, but but every now well, and again let, the Lions have a decent let, season. Let, let me do this for you. The Knicks had a lineup. And, 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 and you're sitting down, I see. The Knicks yep. had a lineup one time of Steve Francis, yep. Stephon Marbury, yep. Eddie Curry, yep. um, no, no, what is his name? Um, what, Jamal the Crawford other? off the bench. Jamal Crawford off the bench. <laughs> oh, they were loaded. Larry Brown was their coach. Yep. Isaiah <laughs> was their GM. Yeah, it's, and it's they won a, a grand total of 26 games. Nate Robinson. Yeah, they, they won a grand, you, you get my point, they won a grand total of 26 games. I just think the Knicks are just garbage. The but, organization but, is but, garbage. But, but, hold on, hold on, but, a couple of years later, they picked up Chauncey Billups, Amari Stoudemire, and Carmelo, and they made the playoffs and one time. And they, made the, and they made the playoffs one time. And, and, and what happened after that? They were garbage, but but that's my point. Is that even though I agree with you that the Knicks are like the Lions, they're garbage for most of the time. But they got that one odd season where they make the playoffs. Yeah, they made the playoffs and they probably got their ass beat in the first round and they were done. Listen, man. <laughs> until 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 James Dolan is, I, and and I don't know why we're talking about maybe because we're playing them. Until James Dolan sells the team, they're never gonna win anything. Ever. Well, we're talking Ever. about the Knicks because you think you think the Pistons are going to be a little bit better than the Knicks. Yes, I do. I do think they're going to be better than the Knicks. I don't think so. I think the I think the Knicks are going to be better than the Pistons this year. <laughs> I, I just 
think the Knicks are just the Knicks, man. They're garbage. <laughs> I, I, dude, they're like I said, man. They're like the Lions of the NBA. I, I mean, on paper, yes, they the team looks better on paper, man. But God, man, they are full. Obi Toppins, man, he moves really well. Dude, he moves really well, man. Yeah, he does. He um I know uh uh Jason was really, really high on him. He wanted he wanted he wanted us to draft him. Um I think I, just, I think I just got potential, man. I just don't think it's gonna be in New York. I don't, man. Listen, everyone that goes I mean to it's New not York, potential to win a championship or anything, but I think they I think they might be try to threaten for the AC, man. They look like a decent team. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look at I'll bet you lunch, man. Dude, dude, run the you court. I will bet you lunch on that AC. Well, AC. listen, wait. Hold, well, first of all, and, and I wasn't aware of this up until recently, but uh, yeah, go they're going to play in game, so it's going to be a ninth and a tenth seed. That's I, true. I forgot about so, that. So I don't even think they're that good. I don't. Dude, the Knicks are an abomination, dog. And I, I hate using the words of Stephen A. Smith, but that's Ju- just it, Julius, man. They, they got awesome. Julius Randle. They got Julius Randle. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. They got Obi Toppins, who looked pretty good last night. Oh, uh, okay. And he looked like the best rookie on the floor. Yeah, yeah against another another team that's as bad as they are. I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, yeah, he he did he did look he he did look he did look uh he did look good last night. I will really, really, great take. I, I just don't I just don't think that him in him in New York it's gonna be like Porzingis, like like dude, Porzingis is in the well he's hurt now, but you know he's rescued. He he's playing with <laughs> real players in Dallas, you know. And you're not gonna see the real, you're not gonna see the real Obi Toppin until one or two things happen. You get a real point guard and he mm-hmm. leaves New York. Cause New, you're, you're not <laughs> winning anything in New York, dude. It's it's not happening. And, I mean, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm gonna say another thing too. Yeah. The, the only reason, the only reason why LeBron picked the Lakers is because the Knicks are such a dumpster fire, dude. Uh, LeBron, LeBron is one of the guys that wanted to uh, to build his brand. So oh. instead of and, and I, I'm convinced, if the Knicks were any good, he would have he would have played for the Knicks instead of the Lakers. I honestly believe that to stay on the East Coast. Okafor, Okafor with the second quarter, nine minutes, nine minutes left in the second quarter. Two great. Possessions for Okafor. Yeah, I saw I saw the one where he grabbed the offensive rebound, boxed out, put, and then there was another one where they he, they dumped the ball to him. Yep. Yeah. The, the the thing with him is, is he gonna bring it every night? He know, he, man. he doesn't bring he, it every night. That's a nice movie like, they down low. That's why he's been on five or six different teams. Yep. So I mean, remember when he first got onto the 76ers, he threw the jersey down. That's <laughs> <laughs> like I remember when that happened. I'm like, man, this guy's going places. <laughs> yeah, well, they yeah, well, I don't know, man. Like I say, I I hope I hope I, if if y'all listening to this, if y'all see this. Buckle up. It's going to be a long season, y'all. A long season. And we're going to see what a real rebuild looks like. Um, it's, it's going to be a long season. Um, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> so, you th- you think you, so you think for sure the Pistons are going to be better than the Knicks? I want your yeah. word on that. Just by, by default. <laughs> That's fine. By default, man. The Knicks are awful, dude. The Knicks, the Knicks and the Cavs. I think those are the two teams that that are below the Pistons. The Knicks right. and the Cavaliers. 
and then it's right. a piss. All right, what's your prediction for tomorrow, man? Sunday's game. Well, um, I, I guess they win. I, I, I mean, dude, you're asking me something that I I don't know, man. Yeah, they win. I'm 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 just I'm gonna do you a solid to say they win, dude. I don't even care. I just I just. I don't want to be okay. You don't care. Players. You don't care who wins or loses. But what, no, what do you, I don't. Well, okay, okay, fine. I mean, I agree. Okay, fine. You don't care who wins or loses. But what, what do you want to see out of Sunday's game? What, what are you expecting to see? I, I, I want, I want to see Killian Hayes develop. I want to see him get better. I want to see all our.